we had this great show, and I, I came out of, the next day I came out of the elevator, and then this woman came up to me with this tall, like, I think he was already taller than me then. He was all gangly, and he was just standing there like, and his mother was doing all the talking, he was just standing there, and she's sitting there going, this is my son, he wants to be a comedian. I was like, oh, how's it going? He's just going like, he's like talking with his eyebrows. <laughs> it's just like, all right, this dude is, this guy looks like a comedian. He is completely socially awkward. He doesn't seem to be connecting with anyone. This is, this is right where you need to be at your age. Uh, he looks like he wants to jump out of his own skin. Yeah, this guy looks, I, I bet he's gonna be great. And it, what was weird, well, you know, I said, good luck, you're starting young, you know, a couple words of advice, but I met him years later, and he goes, I don't know if you, I just immediately remembered him. I mean, it's probably why he's starring in this movie, like certain people just have that star quality and you remember them, and you know, I, you know, I don't know how many dates I do a year but, and how many people I meet, but I just, I don't know why, I remembered him. When I first read it through, not the smartest guy here, so like I was just reading it linear, I'm like, this guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this is what Judd thinks of me, that he wants me to play this guy? Did my wife write this script? Um, when she was mad at me? Um, so, anytime I would do a scene that I didn't get, I just, I would try to find the humor in it, and I, I just, you know, that's the way I was able to kind of latch onto the guy. The mustache helped, too. Working with Marissa Tomei was really intimidating. Because I remember that day when I came out with the mustache and they were lining us up. And I remember they, they put the wig on her whole Margie thing. And she had on the, she put the glasses on and there was no more Marissa. And I just, she had this, I can't do the look she had on her face. Like when they were just taking a picture of her. And I was like, holy shit. Like, I'm going to get my ass kicked in this movie. Like, what the fuck? And another panic attack. What I loved about working with Pete was he was a, he was a total pro. Like, uh, you know, he's number one on the call sheet, which means you're gonna be the first one here, last one to leave, and all of that stuff. 